In our journey through the Gospel of John, we come across a verse that encapsulates the essence of Jesus Christ in a profound and concise manner. John 1 verse 1 opens with the powerful declaration, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Let's dive into the richness of this verse and uncover the timeless truths it holds. The Divine Word The verse begins with the phrase, In the beginning was the Word. Here the Word refers to Jesus Christ Himself. The term, word, translates from the Greek word logos, which conveys the idea of divine expression or communication. It signifies that Jesus is the ultimate expression of God's thoughts, will, and character. From the very start, before creation itself, Jesus existed as the eternal word of God, embodying divine wisdom and truth. Eternal Existence the next part of the verse states, And the Word was with God. This highlights the eternal relationship between Jesus and God the Father. It emphasizes the intimacy and closeness within the Godhead. Despite being distinct persons, Jesus and the Father share a divine unity and fellowship that transcends time and space. This unity is fundamental to understanding the nature of God and His eternal plan for humanity. Deity of Christ The most profound statement follows, and the Word was God. This unequivocally declares the deity of Jesus Christ. He is not merely a created being or a representative of God, He is God Himself. This truth is foundational to Christian faith, affirming that Jesus possesses all the attributes of God, eternity, omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. As God incarnate, Jesus came to reveal God's love, redeem humanity, and reconcile us to himself. Creator and Sustainer The implications of John 1 verse 1 extend to creation itself. The Word, Jesus Christ, is not only the divine communicator but also the creator of all things. As stated in John 1 verse 3, all things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. This verse echoes the creation account in Genesis, emphasizing that Jesus was actively involved in bringing the universe into existence. Furthermore, he sustains all things by his power and upholds the universe by his word. Hebrews 1 verse 3 Revelation and Incarnation The concept of the word becoming flesh is a central theme in John's Gospel. Verse 14 states, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. This incarnation signifies the divine entering the human realm, with Jesus taking on human nature while retaining his divine attributes. It is through his life, teachings, miracles, death, and resurrection that we behold the glory of God, revealed in Christ. The Light of the World John 1 verses 4 to 5 further elaborates on the significance of Jesus as the Word and the Light. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus not only brings life but also illuminates the darkness of sin and ignorance. He is the source of spiritual enlightenment, guiding us to truth, righteousness, and salvation. Despite the darkness in the world, His light continues to shine brightly, offering hope and redemption to all who believe. As we delve into the profound depths of John 1 verse 1, we encounter a foundational truth that shapes our understanding of Jesus Christ. He is the eternal Word, the divine expression of God's love and wisdom. His deity, creative power, incarnation, and role as the light of the world highlight his unique and unparalleled significance in human history. May we continue to meditate on these truths and grow in our relationship with the Word made flesh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Amen.